why you get upset sometimes <clears throat> when you don't want to say nothing, you don't want to say how much something costs, or you don't want to explain yourself about something like that, or you don't want to do this, that, or the third, or you don't want to you don't want to explain how you did it, when you did it, how much you paid for it, or whatever. Girl, the first thing that come out of your mouth is mind your business. Okay, somebody asked me how much I paid for this toothbrush, bitch. Instead of worrying about my motherfucking toothbrush, bitch, you need to be worried about your kids and why your kids eat your chef Boyardee for the fourth time in a row this dinner. Okay, bitch, they be eating chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs for four dinners. Okay. Bitch in a week, bitch. You need to be worried about when you get your food there, stay from because bitch, you ain't sending your renewal letter. Okay, bitch, you need to be worried about how your kids go eat. Where the fuck out of me, bitch? Mind your motherfucking business and mind your life, and maybe you'll get something done. All this over a toothbrush. Today, I just want to talk about something. I want to talk about people who need to let people go. If you love them enough, if you love them, love them enough to leave them alone, honey, because sometimes people won't work out. You know what I'm saying? You try your best to be your best friend. You try your best to be the most close person, the most loyal person in that person's life. But sometimes they don't return the favor, honey, and so you need to let that go. Okay? Because let me tell you something, because child... Girl, I told y'all before, well, I told my Facebook friends, and then I know all of y'all ain't adding me on Facebook or whatnot, which y'all can jump on if y'all want to. I mean, don't be afraid to add me on Facebook if you want to add me on Facebook. If you don't want to add me on Facebook because you think I might act like I do on my videos, don't have to worry about that. Because I know some people don't want to add people who um, may be out there like that, or maybe they in the closet, they don't want gay people to be all up in their motherfucking profile, acting all wild, all outlandish or whatever. I understand, I understand, but I'm not like that. But anyway, because I know people, I be having people on my motherfucking Facebook just be posting pit, naked pictures of men and stuff. I'm like, girl, I mean, we know you gay, Miss Honey, but you don't have to post shit like that. I don't like seeing that, Miss Honey. Facebook is not the place, okay? Bitch, if you want to see pit, naked pictures and stuff, go on one of those sites that host that shit, like pornos, okay? Porno, porno sites. Go on one of those if you want to satisfy your sexual urges. But Facebook is not the place for that, okay? It's not. But no, I'm not one of those people, honey. I talk about real life issues, you know, politics. If you know me on Facebook, you know, I'm very involved in politics and things like that. And, you know, I'm looking for like-minded people who are involved in politics or whatever, want to have debates or whatever. I have an alternative opinion. So if you can deal with that, then, <clears throat> you know, add me on Facebook. We can discuss because, bitch, I'll be hosting some... um. Um, discussions on there. We've been talking about a range of shit, honey. And yes, it be popping, girl. So if you want to get involved, bitch, add me, honey. Add me. But girl, one of my story, honey, I was telling um people on my um my Facebook that I was recently in the hospital because I was having some heart troubles and whatnot. And you know, I went to go see my cardiologist. He told me I was, you know, I wasn't doing too well and I needed to go to the hospital. So, you know, they admitted me into the hospital and I was in there for like a week. And, um, you know, and you know, it's stressful when you're in there because, first of all, you don't got no one to talk to. Okay. You're looking for outside people to call you on your phone. You get excited with your phone call because you want to hear somebody on the outside, you know, giving you information and stuff. Because you, cause when you're in the hospital, you feel like you're in a fucking tight ass box. You know what I'm saying? And you got to deal with doctors and nurses and shit. I mean, they was cool and nice and every day, but that's not my environment. I don't like, no, who likes being in the hospital? They better be home sitting on their ass doing nothing. Okay. But yes, I was in there. And I had this wife, well, supposed uh, best friend, a.k.a. brother, okay, who I thought was ride or die or whatnot. And it turned out he wasn't. You know, I'm in the hospital. I got people calling me that I don't even fuck with like that, calling me every day to see if I'm all right, see if anything they could do for me or whatever. They want to visit me and shit, spend time with me in the hospital while I'm in there recuperating. And here go my supposed brother, my friend, don't even call me one time. One time, Miss Honey, to see how I'm doing. He knew I was in the hospital. I gave him the number to call me because my phone died. I was like, here, call me on this hospital, you know, my direct line to the room. Call me, check up on me or whatever you want to do, whatever. He didn't even do that. And I'm sitting up here and I'm thinking to myself, you're supposed to be my brother. You're supposed to be my best friend. You're supposed to be the first one to call me and check up on me, bitch. I'm in the hospital. I could have lost my life. Okay, I could have lost my motherfucking life, and here you, and here you are not calling me, bitch. And what you can't give me no excuse because a lot of people work, honey. A lot of people work, bitch. You work third shift. 
You barely do anything on your third motherfucking sheet. You can't find five minutes out of your motherfucking time to call me and check up on me. Are you serious? And then when I confronted him about it, after three days after I got out of the hospital, he still ain't called me. I had to call his ass. And I'm sitting up here, I'm shaking my motherfucking head. Like, here I am in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Don't know what my fate gonna be because it was that serious. And you don't even call me. I have to call you. Are you fucking serious? An excuse you gonna give me talking about I tried to call you three times, but ain't nobody answer. What? Who don't answer a phone when they're in the hospital? Like I said, when you're in the hospital, you always looking for a motherfucking phone call. Unless you're in the bathroom. Unless you uh eating a meal or something. Even if you're eating a meal, you still answer the phone. Unless you're in the bathroom or you're in the, in the operating room, that's the only time someone won't answer their phone. Somebody in the hospital is always looking for a phone call. So don't sit up here and try to uh, lie to me and tell me that you tried to call and nobody answered. Because, bitch, I answered every last motherfucking phone call that I received. And I didn't receive a phone call from you. He a fucking liar. And I was like, you know what? This is the last motherfucking straw. There were many straws. And I, and I overlooked it because we were supposed to be friends and brothers or whatever. But you don't do that shit. Are you serious? That was the last straw. I was like, oh, no. I said, you changed. You you different. You got shaded in the motherfucker. I can't fuck with you no more. I said, you have a good life. I hope everything you do in life will come out with a good, inc a, a, a good outcome. But I'm not going to be a part of it. I'm not going to be a part of your life because obviously you you too young for my motherfucking age group anyway. And you show it by being Im motherfucking sure. You show it by being immature. Are you serious? I was like, oh, no, oh, no. Sometimes you just got to love him enough to let him go, Miss Bitch. And I had to let him go. Okay. And then when I told him, could I see him a lights and all motherfucking test match? And I was like, you know what? This is enough. Enough is enough. You know, you done changed. You done got shady. You know what I'm saying? I wish you the best in life. You know, he got a daughter on the way or whatever. I wish him the best in life and raising his daughter. I'm sure he'll be a good father, but I'm not going to be a part of your life because you haven't shown me. You know what I'm saying? You haven't shown me that you are ready to even be in my life. Like, why are you here? Besides to smoke up my weed, to drink up my alcohol, to eat up my motherfucking food. Okay? Bitch, no, you got to go. Bitch, no, you got to go. Ah, uh, bitch, no, you got to go. Oh, oh, bitch, no, you got to go. Yeah, <laughs> bitch, no, you got to motherfucking go. Okay, yes, bitch. But, yes, I had to let him go, girl. I was like, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, goodbye. Ta-da. Okay, good motherfucking day. <laughs> Girl, but honey, I just had to I had to get that off my chest because I, I felt so good deleting his number out of my phone. Because honestly, I should have did it a long time ago. I should have did it a long time ago. I was like, goodbye. And he you know what I mean? you know what he had the nerve to say after I sent him that long testament and say, I hope you have a good life, but I don't think our friendship is gonna work out. You know what he gonna say? Say no more. Are you serious? You're not even going to apologize for not getting in touch with me. You're not even going to man up and say, my bad. I'm sorry. I know you right. You, I didn't call you. I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me? None of that. He's going to talk about, uh, he's going to talk about, say no more. I was like, oh no, that just confirmed it right there. Oh no, you ain't even man enough to be a man and confess what the fuck you did and apologize. I was like, get in touch with me when you grow the fuck up. Okay, that's exactly what I said. And I left it at that. And I deleted his motherfucking phone about my phone. You don't do that shit. Bitch, if, you was, if it was the uh, other way around, I would call you and check up on you every motherfucking day. Two to three times out of the day, make sure you all right. Because we're supposed to be best friends. But best friends do not not call their friends while they're in the hospital with a potentially life-threatening motherfucking situation. I was like, oh no. But honey, let but honey, let that be a lesson to y'all. Honey, some people in your life, it's just some people are in your life just to drag you the butt down, just to be negative. Whatever you whatever you want to do or anything that positive in your life, they try to talk, they try to be negative about it, they try to talk down on you about it. Oh, you can't do that. You you won't do that. Oh, you just plan. You ain't serious. 
No, you don't need those type of people in your life. They always there to drag you the fuck down. You need to get those people out your life, but honey, because if you keep them in your life, you're, you're not going to be anything because they're always going to be in your ear. You can't do that. You won't do that. Oh, you plan. What about this? What about that? Bitch, what about it? I'm doing, I'm doing me. I'm following my goals and my dreams. What about it? Where are you here? Why are you here? If you here to drag me the fuck down, why are you in my life? Why are you in my life? Real friends are supposed to lift you up. Bitch, grab your hand when you fall the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? They supposed to help you out with anything. Emotionally, physically, financially, if me be. No, no, I can't do that. Oh, I won't do that. Oh, no. I can't give you a ride because of this, that, and the third, or this, that, and the third, and I can't do this. I can't loan you money. Oh, no. Oh, uh-uh. Always no, no, no when it comes to them. But when it comes to you, and they need something from you, and you say yes, 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 they take advantage of that shit, but soon as you ask them for something, soon as you ask them for something, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. I won't do that. Uh-uh. Bitch, why are you in my life? Why are we friends? Oh, no. Oh, no. Got to go. Oh no, it got to go. Oh, oh no, got to go. Hey, oh no, it got to go. Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. But anyways, all right, child, well, I'm going to let y'all go. Now, dad, dad, love y'all. <laughs> Mwah, pow.